What's up, everybody? So I had an idea for today's video that I want to share with you. Babe, I was telling you about this idea yesterday. We're kind of telling you about this idea yesterday. Um, what I thought we could do, because uh, if you guys watched the past garage selling video, I picked up these two items, this phone and this Revitive, whatever it is, circulation booster. <laughs> and what I thought would be cool is usually we show you guys like our finds and then um, like a few weeks later, they'll show up in our what sold videos and you guys can go back and see like how much they sold for and stuff. But what I thought we could do is actually go through the process of like listing the item and then tracking how long it takes for them to sell. Ooh. Yeah, cause a lot of people ask us like, how long does stuff sit that you find at garage sales and thrift stores? How long does it sit in your eBay store before it sells? So I figured we could just do that. We'll list the items. Um, and I'm gonna do it rough too. I'm not gonna take them to our to our photo studio at our warehouse. I'm just gonna use whatever we have at home and take pictures and list the items as if we didn't have a warehouse because I think that's, that's, that's more relatable to most people too. Um, so we're gonna do that. But before we do that, we're gonna go thrifting because it's Monday and we like to thrift on Monday mornings. Yeah. And there's a new dog. Poppers, <laughs> little poppers. Does she have a name yet? Uh, maybe, pizza? Matcha, Kona. Okay, so we've been no. calling her Kona. We have been calling her Kona. She's a good dog. She's a really good dog. She's yeah. pretty quiet. All right, maybe Kona. We're gonna go thrifting. Bye. 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 All right, it's about 9:30 a.m. Let's go see what this Goodwill has. The color changed this week. It's purple now. Mm. Some North Face boots. 20 bucks though, yikes. All right, I found some Ariad boots. And they're in good condition. Style 10010921. Condition is everything with boots, so. These ones look like they're in great shape. And Goodwill has a price of $20 on them. I found one completed listing. Um, it's a best offer, so I can't see exactly what it sold for but it looks like we should be able to get at least like 60 plus shipping. Um, so call it like call it like $70 shipped. Um, so I think it's a good deal for this. You find anything, babe? No, not yet. No? I've seen quite a few purple tags though on the plus side. That's good. I found some Ariat boots, mm -hmm. possibly this Levi's jacket. Oh, it's half off finally. It's only $4. No, it's not half off, oh. but it's only four bucks. So. Dang, $15, but. It's a nice Orvis jacket. And it's an XL. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's quality. It's old. <laughs> I can smell how old it is. <laughs> it's got like leather accents on it. That's probably good. I mean, smell it. It smells like it's 20 years old, this jacket. It does smell kind of old. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a buy. I like to play the Is It North Face game. Is it North Face? No. Oh. Tommy. <laughs> I found another like long Orvis coat. This one's only four dollars, babe. Yeah. That'll come out. That'll come out. That'll all come out. It's nice. Easy to wash. It's like a trench coat. New it tags, Polo Ralph Lauren. $125 price tag. But Goodwill wants thirty doll hairs. <laughs> thirty doll hairs. I think it's that much at the outlet. Yeah. Ooh. It looks like they put out a couple more Ooh. Tommy Bahama shirts, so I didn't see any stains on that one. These are both five bucks each. And again, we'll list these two together. I think we're gonna leave this Orvis jacket because the pockets are like totally coming oh, apart. Yeah, it's almost like paint. So we ended up picking up the two Tommy Bahama shirts, that um, old Orvis coat. The more expensive one, but I think it's yeah. I think it's the better one. I think we should get between like fifty to seventy dollars for that, um, and then the Ariat boots. So just those few things. Yeah, back to the house to list some stuff. Oh, and I left those Wrangler FR jeans behind um, just because I didn't like the sell through on them. Um, it seems like there were a few listed around like forty to fifty dollars, but they weren't really selling. So 
and they were seven bucks, so I just left them behind. We made a quick stop into <laughs> into the Dollar Tree because I realized that we need a background for our pictures because um, we're used to taking our pictures at the warehouse. Yeah. Uh, so we went to the Dollar Tree. They have poster board, white poster board there for two of them for a dollar. So it's a great resource if you don't have a background, if you need like a cheap white background, go get one for a dollar. So pick that up and some candy. Chocolate. <laughs> Um, and now we have our background for our pictures. Let's do it. Okay, so before we get this stuff listed, I know a few of you guys saw there was a permanent marker. There's a permanent marker on this item. We're gonna try to get it off. Um, that's not working. <laughs> Goo Gone does not work. Goo Gone, oh, it's kind of working actually. Oh, ew, but it's making it yucky. Yeah, do you have hairspray? <laughs> oh, yeah. Goo Gone might work actually. Yeah. So we're gonna try to get this off. The other thing, just to mention, um, I thought that this item was factory sealed, but it looks like the factory seal is broken. Um, so I did open the box up, and everything in there is new, um, but now instead of selling it on Amazon, we are gonna sell it on eBay as new open box, uh, just because, just to be safe. We don't wanna send anything or sell anything on Amazon as new when it's actually not brand new, so yeah. And it looks like the Goo Gone is actually getting off. Decently, so yeah, I think it'll come off with Goo Gone. This is what we are using to get that permanent marker off. You're doing great. Yeah. Nice. All right, we are good. It did kind of take off some of the ink like on the actual box, but now it doesn't say $20. <laughs> so I've kind of set up like a makeshift little photo booth studio in our back room of our house. Um, just put the poster boards on the ground. We have some natural light coming from the window. And then I also have a ring light that'll help boost the, boost the light. So I'm just gonna use this, improvise, and uh, take some pictures. I'm gonna use my phone to take the pictures as well in one by one ratio square mode. It's an iPhone. I'll take probably like six to 10 pictures of each item and then we can list them on eBay. Okay, pictures taken. All right, so now that I have all my pictures taken on those two items, let's jump over to my laptop. I'll do a screen share and show you guys exactly how I list these items on eBay. Let's start with this Revitive Circulation Booster. I'm gonna look it up by price lowest first, just to see what the lowest price one in the market is right now. And then I want to sort by used because mine is used. And then let's see what the lowest price one is. These are all auctions i'm looking for the lowest buy it now price that's a buy it now but not the same model so it looks like this is going to be the lowest one right here 179 dollars and if i click on it it looks like they've sold well they sold a lot of these so that's the active market value i also want to look at the sold listings to see how much these are actually selling for as well sold ended recently 160 180 180, yeah. So now that I know the market value of the item, I know how much I can list it for. I'm gonna go find that lowest price listing and click on sell now. And then we can get going with this listing. One thing I don't like is the way that they worded their title. eBay doesn't like all caps in the title, so I am gonna change that. And I'm gonna go with Revitive Circulation Booster. I'm gonna put in Advanced Performance because that's on the box. And then I'll just put in Muscle Pain in legs and feet. So that's my title. I'm gonna put it into our electronics category in our store. This item is in the box, so it does have the UPC number. So I am gonna add the UPC number into this listing. And then for the condition description, I'm just gonna go with this item is in used but great condition. We did test it to make sure it's working. So that's good. And then includes the remote and everything shown in the pictures. And then I always put, please see the item pictures for full condition. Next, let's add the pictures that I took earlier. And while those upload, I'm just gonna make sure that all my item specifics are how I want them to be. So taking a look at our pictures, I don't really like the gray background, obviously. Um, they didn't get as white as I would like, but we're just gonna have to work with what we have. So I'm gonna rotate these images 
and I'll brighten them up and put the contrast up a little bit. That'll help the background, but the pictures are what they are. So I'm just gonna make sure they're all rotated the right way and clear. All right, pictures are in. For my item description, I'm gonna use one of our templates. So we have a used item template that loads for us and I can just put the title in and the condition and then the shipping. Obviously we do free shipping on everything. Returns are already in there and questions as well. So price on this item, I'm gonna go with $169 because it's 10 bucks under that other one and ours doesn't have a warranty, so I think that is fair. I am gonna leave best offer on as well, and our store is currently on a 30% off sale, so I'm just gonna calculate how much that would be. I wanna get $169 for it, so I'm gonna multiply that by 1.43, which gives us $241. So that is how I'm gonna list it for $241. When that sale kicks in, that 30% off sale, you guys can see it'll drop the price down to $169. Everything else is already in there, Standard in this listing, shipping is already in there. We will allow this to go through the global shipping program. And then I'm gonna promote it at 2% just to get it out there. So let's preview it. Looks good, everything's in there, titles in there, pictures are in there. Great, everything looks good. All right, so I'm gonna publish this listing. Next up, let's do this phone. I have the UPC number, so I'm just gonna type that into eBay. And same thing, I'm gonna sort it by lowest priced, brand new, and see what pops up. And it looks like the lowest price one right now is $46.98. So I'm gonna use that listing and click on sell now, sell similar, and get to work on this listing. Their title is actually fine. I'm just gonna put in new open box as well. And then I'm gonna take the model number and move the model number to the center of the title. Again, store categories, this is electronics for us. And then the UPC number, I will put that in. Condition description, new unused open box item as shown in the pictures. And then let's add our five pictures of this item. Same thing, make sure our item specifics are in there. And we're gonna use a very simple custom template for this item description where I just put the title in, put item is new open box and we're good to go. Pictures, again, just gonna rotate them and adjust the brightness a little bit. Make sure that they're nice and clear. You guys can see I took a picture of the box open so people can see that as well. So for price, I am gonna list this item for $45. So again, $45 times 1.43. $64.35, so I'm gonna type in $64. And once that 30% off sale kicks in, it'll adjust the price down to $45. And I'm gonna leave best offer on there as well. Everything else is in there and promote it. I'll promote this one at 2% as well. And preview the item, all looks good, ready to list. Let's list it. All right, so both of those items have been listed on our eBay store. Now keep in mind guys, it takes Usually it takes like a few hours for our store sale to kick in because we're running that 30% off sale. So those prices will adjust and then I expect us to start getting like interest and watchers and offers. So what I'll do is I'll keep you posted on how long it takes these items to sell. Um, but now you can see like how to list something. Again, the pictures weren't great, I know, um, but it, I worked with what I had at the house. Um, and we'll see how, how long it takes for them to sell. So we'll keep you guys posted on those two items. What you watching, babe? I just got sucked into some YouTube. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> and I think that that is going to be the end of today's video. We have a lot of work to do today. Mondays are very busy for us, so. And I'm editing an Alley Crafts video oh, times cool. three. Whoa. When will those be up? And the next week. Nice. Hopefully I can get one edited and out tomorrow. Ooh. I can mention it in the live show. I'll link <gasps> I'll link Allie's channel in this video as well. Go check out Allie's craft channel. Maybe I can put it out right before the live show and we can tell everyone in the live show I put it True. out. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then we can say, go watch my video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Leave a like on this video. Hit the thumbs up button. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed, please. And uh, <laughs> leave a comment as well. We like to hear from you guys in the comment section. So thanks so much for watching. Yeah, if Appreciate you missed it. me trolling Ryan this episode, let us know in the comments below. Goodbye. Okay,